is basically a screwdriver with that lock. But I heard it. And turned it and you hear a click. They've then gone off, haven't they? Hello. Hello. And welcome to our security vlog. Now I know, I know you've been waiting for this one too and it's took us a little while to do this one. We just haven't got round to doing this vlog yet, have we? No. There's been so much more exciting things to do, haven't there? I have also fitted the lock, but I will briefly say how it's fitted. Yes. So, before we start, why are we putting a Malenko lock on our caravan that we thought well, we didn't really think anything, did we? No, we, we didn't, no. It's, a, it's the old case of you don't think it's going to happen to you. And we thought we'd taken enough precautions for it not to. However, we got it very wrong. We did. And it did happen to us. Um, and thankfully, it happened to us and not our two um, subscribers who came down no, with No, they us would have put them off for life otherwise. Well, it nearly could have put us off for life if they'd been successful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I don't quite know what would have happened if they'd actually got in. It would have been extremely traumatic. So, you know, we really do feel for people that have had to go through um, a theft at a motorway air. It must be the most traumatic thing ever, as any theft would. That's right, yeah. Uh, even a house burglary. I've got friends who've had the house burgled um, and they've had to move. I mean, it is traumatic to know that somebody has come uninvited onto your per into your personal space and taken things that don't belong to them. Um, so, uh, to be perfectly honest, had it happened like that and the consequences were disastrous, I can honestly say I don't know if we'd be still doing this. No, we don't. We, basically, the situation was very mellow for us, but I know that I've, I've heard stories of other people who've been through a bit of a traumatic time. So, you know, if it has happened to you, you know, our hearts go out to you. It, it, it wasn't nice for us and, you know, it certainly wouldn't have been nice if it had ended badly, is it? No. Just to let you know as well that last week, uh, it's not just the airs. People say, oh, you should never stay in airs. Well, last week we heard an awful story where a couple were, had just got into France in a campsite, locked the van up, went for dinner in the restaurant thinking they would be perfectly safe. And basically somebody got in their van through the skylight and they went through all their items, they took their shoes, their clothes, and this particular van had a second layer floor with floor safes and they managed to take all their money out with them. I mean, how did they know it was even there? They obviously study the vans. They do, they know the models, they know how it works, and they know what to look for. So our, our message is to, you can never ever prevent it. It's just how you try and do it as a precaution. You can only slow them down. Absolutely. Um, they got in through the skylight, didn't they? And they yeah. kicked the door open. But what the most amazing thing was, nobody saw a thing. Yeah. Which is quite unbelievable. But more's the case, people just don't want to get involved. Anyway, what we're going to do now is show you Clearly what we went happened. through Bordeaux. Um, we travelled a long de a day. We'd stayed in this particular air, um, and I forget what it was called. The West Vendy Services. The West Vendy Services, just after Bordeaux, just before the, the main toll booth onto the next toll road. We'd stayed there before. We felt perfectly safe, didn't and we? And it was in the caravan section, which is well lit, and it's 24 hours. So there was always somebody around. Um, so we pulled up there again. However, we did park in a different place, and we parked diagonally. And we were the caravan in the middle. In the middle, so we so were quite hidden. We were sheltered. Yes. Um, and what happened was, Pam looked out of her window because she heard something, and she was on the right side of us, and saw that there was a, a man walking a dog around the caravans. Now, why we think this happened, and, re and realizing how strange it was, because he got out of his car by a big grass area, and then walked around our caravans, which was tarmac. So first things first, why has he done that? He'd done that, we think, to see if we had a dog. Now, unfortunately, little Summer Bear, who is over there right now, is fast asleep and doesn't hear a lot because she's quite old. And she's not a barker. No, she doesn't, she doesn't bark. Um, so because she didn't bark and there, Pam and Perry have two dogs and um, Joe and Mark have their dog which also barked as well about just before that mark had taken the dog out hadn't you yeah 1 30 in the morning i took the uh, summer out for her last wee she wanted to get up so i had to wander around the services but there was nobody there there was nobody apparent there no um 
I then obviously it woke me up and that's it I'm awake I woke up I had a sore throat went and looked at the lock in fact we'll show you how what, so, I, what I we're going to show you here is I got up to go and get a headache tablet because my throat was hurting and Mark had just been out now when we lock our door it's, it's like that so I'm automatically zoned on the fact that when we're asleep in the van that lock is up when I got up Mark got it in the neck because really, it's on your mind to be that. extra safe because we were in an yeah. air. So we locked it again. So we locked it again, went back to bed, you went back to Then we heard something and let's show them what they did. So going out from the outside. It's basically screwdriver that lock. But I heard it. And turned it and you are click. They'd okay. then gone off hadn't got. they? It's a Malenko one which you can use from the inside and the outside. From the outside, just put your key in, lift, and lock again, and you can open. Same again, unlock, lock. Now, you may notice I've got a stable door, and I haven't put it across the scene. My theory is, they break this lock, you've got it across that scene, they can burst it slightly, and get in and force it past that scene. That's uh, another bit of security. I'm going to put another one on there. And basically, it's a frame lock and it slides across. But these are more suitable for when you're in the caravan and when you're out of the caravan. A lot of locks are only for when you leave them. I'll show you the inside. From the inside, there's a lever. You unlock it, you slide it down, and as you can see, it protects the door. Then you lock it again. So you can do this from the inside. A lot of these door locks will only allow you to do it from the outside, but this one is designed to do it inside and out. And the price again? <clears throat> I had it shipped over to Spain from eBay, including postage, £68. And it was here within a week? It, it was here within a week. So I think they are £58 now for caravans. I have bought some stuff from them before and I said they are pretty reliable. So good on you Kenmore Caravans. Yeah, they have the best price and in no quibble sent it to Spain. On this key ring is my car keys and I put the Malenko lock but I do not put on there the Olco lock for the hitch and I don't put it on there for the Olco wheel locks. I keep them separate. So if they steal your keys they've got everything and they can just unlock your van and go. If they, if all your keys were on one room, yeah, ring. yeah, but I keep all my keys separate, and we never, be, and we never can find them. But no, I can never find my keys. Oh. But they're hidden, yeah. So at least we're safe. But even if we can't find them, they've got no chance, have they? Really. Going back to hiding things on the night of the break-in, we had nothing out which they could grab, yeah, and that's what they do. They break. They come in very quietly in your door. And what they do, now think about this everyone, when you go, I mean not everybody does it, but, but I did read up what they're looking for. They're coming in very quietly, they've got no light, they've probably got a little light. Yeah. They're anticipating no dog in here, which is why they target people without dogs. So we are going to get a sticker and we're also going to put her dog bowls outside. outside. That is another deterrent. If they think you've got a dog, they won't touch you, I yeah. hope. So what they're doing, most men will throw their clothes on the front seat with their wallet in. Hey ho, that's one thing. A woman will always mostly put her bag down there. It's just a natural thing to do or anywhere in this area. You'll also leave, leave your keys, keys yeah. here. Thank you very much. And they want your mobile phone which most of us will leave here. If your laptop's out they'll take that as well. They're then gone. If you sleep very deeply, you've been travelling all day, you've been driving, Mark sleeps the minute, his, yeah, his, sleep minute his head hits the pillow and he snores like the Polar Express. Yes. That is probably, <laughs> that's probably heard that and thought, well, hey, snoring thought we're we well, hope <laughs> that we've helped you a little bit. Now, we nobody can 100% secure their van so nobody will get in. If they get, if they want to get in, like a house, or they steal your car, and I've had my car stolen, they will do it no matter what you've got in there. Like what we're saying is, if they want it, they'll take it. But if we can prevent it, 
or try to delay them or put you them slow off, them down yeah um you know that's got to be a good thing what we always do as well i don't know about you but when we're traveling we i try and keep the caravan clear because we are going to be using it as we travel down on this particular night this area here had shoes and it had a bin liner a crackly bin liner here because the year before um we got diesel in on the carpet because yeah. we used to stay in with the lorries now that would have made such a noise had they gone yeah. over that they would that would have woke us up anyway um even if they tried to move it it would have woke us up but the lesson that we have learned is if you are going to stay in an air go for a 24 hour a well-lit one park as close to the amenities as you can and always 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 park with the lorries why do we say this because when we went in to report it they it, said the security only secured the patrol. lorry area yeah. yeah they only patrol the lorry areas in the airs they do not patrol the caravan and motorhome areas that and makes a lot of sense doesn't another it really? thing i must say is slow them down pull your fly screen across yes yeah, so this is what your blinds do this so that's something else they've got to pull back which makes a noise anything makes a noise it distracts them you can get wheel wheel locks window locks window here locks, which we are investing in which we're going we... to look in and we're going to invest in some window locks as well i think so but anything that makes them fill this area up put your call box in front of it anything that they've got to move is going to make a noise and it's going to wake you up anyway we've come out fine um i even the filmed the van and there was three guys in a white higher van as well yeah and as soon as i got my camera out and started filming them they were gone but well, one thing you must know if you go out and get distracted they could sneak in so keep an eye out if you do go outside leave one person in the caravan yes because we threw the door open and i went knocking everybody up now there were several other motorhomes and caravans there and had they been successful who knows they could have gone on to do others but they didn't we got them scumbags they got away with nothing absolutely so thank you very much for listening I hope that's been of some help to you and little pointers anybody got any more comments and how other things that we could do pass it on to other subscribers pop it in the comments below um and you know if we all pull together we'll get some good ideas um but don't forget even if you haven't got a dog get a dog bowl pop it outside even if you're on a campsite it's a deterrent you take care we'll see you soon bye, bye.